alkanes are exceptionally unreactive molecules. Boring, even chemically speaking, but we can persuade them to react with halogens, the group 7 elements, in the presence of high-energy UV light. This is an example of free radical substitution, and it's an important reaction mechanism to understand if we are to get our heads around the role of CFCs in the depletion of ozone in the stratosphere, or the myriad reactions that lead to the build-up of photochemical smog. There are three stages, and the first is initiation. UV radiation causes homolytic fission of the halogen-halogen bond, forming radical halogen atoms and starting a chain reaction, which ends in a halo alkane, such as chloromethane in this example. Homolytic fission of a covalent bond is when the bond breaks evenly, and each fragment takes one electron from the bond. The resulting fragments each have an unpaired electron and are called radicals. Radicals are very reactive species. When we're drawing this out, we need to use half-headed arrows because we're only moving one electron at a time. The second stage is propagation, and there are two propagation steps, both of which produce a radical. Firstly, a chlorine radical abstracts a hydrogen atom from the alkane, forming hydrogen chloride, and a methyl radical. One electron from the new HCl bond is coming from the CH bond, and one is the unpaired electron on the chlorine radical. Secondly, the methyl radical abstracts a chlorine atom from a molecule of chlorine, forming a haloalkane and another chlorine radical. The key to understanding this mechanism is to appreciate that of the two propagation steps, the first always makes the byproduct, in this case HCl, and the haloalkane is made in the second propagation step. Both steps are exothermic, as the bonds that are made in each stage are stronger than those that were broken. The third stage is termination, where two radicals react to form a non-radical. Since the concentration of radicals in the reaction mixture is actually very low, chain termination is rare. As you can see, we get a mixture of products, and the haloalkane formed in the second propagation step can go on to react further, forming dichloro and trichloro products. Crunch chemistry. Everything you need for A-level.